What's up, guys? I'm back with a quick update on my progress developing the Killer Bean game. By the way, if you're interested in playing this game, be sure to drop a wish list on the Killer Bean page on Steam. That would be awesome. Okay, let's get right into it with some stealth gameplay. So when you make a noise, the enemies will react to it depending on what they heard and also their alert level. What's that noise? Since this was a gunshot, their awareness goes up quickly. Hey, what's going on over there? The enemies pretty much say what they are thinking. Is this, hide and seek? So if they are searching for you, they'll say that. It's all good, guys. He's gone. And they'll also say when they give up the search. I thought I saw something. Maybe I'm just paranoid. When you sneak up behind an enemy, one hit will stun them. When they're dizzy, you can perform a wrestling finisher move. I plan to add many more moves in the future. Also, when you finish them with a wrestling move, you get a lot more loot than normal. So that's a great way to replenish your health or energy, but it's also very risky to get close to an enemy unless they are dizzy. Some enemies will drop their weapons and you can pick up any weapon that is on the ground. I'm planning for a procedural weapon system sort of like in Borderlands. So weapon stats will change depending on what weapon skin it has and the various attachments. Hey, wake up. Are you dead? When you leave dead bodies around, the enemies can see them and go on high alert. Eventually I'll include a way to hide the bodies. And of course, there is slow motion diving. Where are you? Don't worry guys, I'll improve the weapon textures soon. Right now they are very low res looking. It's still a work in progress. You got two options. You can come out and give up, or you can come out and we can shoot you. Over here, when the enemy loses sight of you, they will conduct a search. If you lay low long enough, they will give up. It's best to play this game with headphones so you can hear which direction the enemies are when they talk. This is good if you don't have the sonar skill to see enemies behind walls. You can also hear where their footsteps are and how close they are to you. Here's an example of a procedurally generated gun. Right now it behaves the same as the other guns, but eventually I'm going to add different types of ammo like elemental ammo, like fire, ice, electric, corrosive, poison, explosive, um, things like that. Oh yeah, I also added slow motion sliding. Keep in mind that slow motion does deplete your energy. So does the sonar skill and special moves like break dancing. So you won't be able to spam slow motion all the time. Come on out so we can play. Oh, I'm gonna find you. If enemies get close enough to you, you can use your fists to fight your way out. When you are about to die, everything goes black and white. So this is the near death mode. One more shot and you're dead. So you have to be really careful here. Picking up some health will get you out of near death mode. And ideally doing a finisher move would get you lots of health and energy drops. But unfortunately here, I didn't pick any up. It was getting way too hectic. Sometimes it's just best to run. So at this point, I'm low on health and low on energy. If I wait long enough, Killer Bean will regenerate a little health. Come on out, Killer Bean. I'll make this quick and easy. But sometimes you just gotta go for it. Oh man, right here I messed up. I was trying to do some melee combat, but I think I missed the melee key. By the way, yes, you can use shotguns. And yes, there will be bugs, especially with the ragdolls. But everybody loves ragdolls. Oh. 
Okay, so this is my last run for this video. On the next video, I'll probably talk about different mission types and randomness during missions. Oh crap, gotta hide for a while. Let's do this. Oh damn. Yeah, baby. What the heck? More bugs? Oh, that was a good shot. Okay guys, that's it for this video and don't forget to wishlist Killer Bean on Steam. See you next time.